What's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of If There's a Will, There's a Wave. If you're following along with the series, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome aboard. We're restoring this 1973 32-foot Lord's Flybridge Sport Fisher that we plan to have back on the water by the end of June 2021. We already got the old engines out, purchased the new ones, and in this episode, we start painting the freshly cleaned engine bay. Let's get into it. Come here, let me see you. You're so fast, I can't even keep up. Oh my God, <laughs> so, what's going on everybody? Uh, I'm gonna be moving fast, talking fast, because I'm running out of light, and I have to record this for you. For you. For you. Come on. Hold on, let me, let me show you this real quick. I actually found that the boat came with this awesome canvas tarp that protects the whole upper flybridge. Pretty sweet. As you guys know, we have a plan to be painting the entire engine bay, getting ready to start prepping stuff and start painting stuff up. And I got to thinking about these through holes here. In the engine bay, I have four through holes, okay? Two for the engines, which that's their water intake. And then I also have, I believe this is an outlet for the old vacuum pump system, for the toilet system, for the head system, for those of you who are my boat people. So this is no longer being used because we got the portable toilet that's inside the head now um, which is an all-in-one you know unit the port a curve or something I don't know I'll look it up and tell you what it is thinking to either completely remove this which means we would have to fiberglass this thing shut uh, I've been watching a couple videos and I got some people that I know who have done it before that could help me out so I'm thinking that that might be something that we do and it would be in line because we do plan to paint in the future. The entire bottom side of the boat needs to be repainted and there's some spots where it actually was already ground down to the fiberglass. So it needs a whole new paint job anyways. That being said, I'm not too sure what I plan to do with this guy here. He's either going to just be replaced with a new seacock and it'll stay there connected for a possible future reconnection or we'll be closing it off as I mentioned. So in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and have everything removed and prepped for paint so that we can move forward. Hey you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day that you've been waiting for, that I've been waiting for. There's been a lot of preparation involved, but we're painting today. Last night, I took out all the through holes in the boat. So any spot where there is a through hole from the boat, where it goes from the inside of the boat directly to the outside, I popped all those fittings out. That way we can go ahead and replace all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wiping everything down with a denatured alcohol rag. And then after that, we'll go in with some masking tape and go ahead and mask off all the areas that we don't want painted. So let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we are finally ready for some paint. I got everything masked off, all the bolts, the prop shaft, cables all wrapped up, got all the cables out of the way, everything off of the floor, right? Next thing to do is start mixing up the paint and start laying it down. Finally! So I've 
been at it for however long I've been at it, and I'm really tired, and really hot, and really sweaty, and uh, let's just see what I got. So, I've just been going for it, guys. I've really just been going for it. I had just planned to just basically do the edges, the corners, with a brush, but I had some leftover paint, and so I pulled out the uh, the roller, and then I just kept pouring some in. So, yeah, I mean, it's not really that interesting to see paint being rolled on, is it? You just want to see the results. So anyways, I got one more section left. This is what I'll film so you guys can see that being done. But take a look, man. This is the first coat. First coat of everything. Let's go ahead and get in there a little bit. I've already gone through about half of the paint gallon. So just for anybody else who would be doing this in the future, just know if you're going to be as thorough as I'm being, you may need to get two gallons and I'm, you know, even painting the underside of this over here. I'm painting areas where you're not even going to see, but I think that in reality it will give me a better product, it look nicer, it'll be more cohesive, and it'll protect everything that's there. So, yeah, let's just finish this up and then we'll let this first coat dry up, set. We'll hit it with some 220 sandpaper, we'll wipe it down with some denatured alcohol, and it'll be ready for a second coat. My intention is to do at least three coats, so it looks like this gallon thing is only going to give me two of those, so I'll probably buy another one. And we'll probably just end the video with two coats of what you guys see, but I'll have to buy another one. It takes about a week for it to get here, so let's do it. So this is the paint after it's had about, let's say four hours to dry. Not bad, not bad. Obviously I want the color to be this nice deep white that you're seeing over here, which I think we'll be able to achieve with the next coat. That won't be in this episode. So next episode I'll show you guys the results of everything freshly painted everything at least with a second or third coat so uh thanks for watching guys